Hello and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And joining me in the studio is the wonderful Natalia Sef, also Hi. known <laughs> as Escaping Youth on Instagram. So awesome to have you in the studio. It's so awesome to be here. It's crazy, it's surreal. I have been a fan <laughs> of your work for so many years now and I'm excited because you're gonna be sharing some of your Photoshop and yes. photography knowledge with our community. Yes, I'll be sharing one of the photos I did a couple months ago and I'll be showing how to add paint splashes and cleaning any details up. Yeah, your work has got a wonderful surrealistic quality to it. You're doing everything like on a budget, most oh, yeah. of your stuff is self-portraits, <laughs> yeah. and yet you managed to create such creative work. How much would you say it took to take this image? So I just had a wall, this much space, and I also borrowed the lights from my school. And the only <laughs> thing I spent money on was the paint to paint my hallmate's hands. So maybe like $4 on the whole photo. $4. Yeah. So there we go. $4, $4 a little bit of creativity, <laughs> and some Photoshop knowledge, and you can create some amazing images too. So, all right, let's get into Photoshop. <laughs> All right, so now that we're in Photoshop, let's open our paint splashes. So file open and then paint splash. So just open all of those paint splash, two, three, and four. Open. And then they should come up. Let's make them a little smaller. So command minus, minus, minus. Command minus, minus, minus. Command minus. All right. So we have three beautiful images of paint splashes. And I took these photos in my dorm room as well, and I just splattered paint on a piece of paper for this photo. So we are gonna be cutting these out. So let's start with this one first, paint splash three. Let's drag this onto our original base image. All right. So let, we will be cutting this out, so I'm gonna make it a little smaller so we can see everything. So Command T to transform. And then I'm just gonna make this smaller. Yes, that looks good. And then to mask all of these out, I am going to take the magic wand tool. Uh, tolerance about 17 and just click on the white. And then shift to click more white. And then click over here too. We can also erase this with the brush tool later, but see what we can do here. All right, so let's click the mask tool. And then command I to invert. And as you can see, the paint splashes are pretty well cut out, minus the surrounding edges, but we'll erase that. Let's make it a bit smaller, command T. And size that down. Okay, cool. And then I'm just gonna select the surrounding distracting stuff with the lasso tool. I'm gonna select the inside. So only the paint splashes are left. Command Shift I. And that selects everything on the outside that inverts it and then make sure it's white then on your mask and then click delete that's good command d and then just your paint splashes will be left and if you do need to you can erase like that part some of the things that the mask didn't get Let's see what else I think that looks good. And then we are going to smooth some of the edges on this. As you can see, you can still see some white edge from the paper and it's a little rough. So let us double click on our mask. Select the mask right here. And then we're gonna shift the edge down, get rid of some of that rough white and then smooth it. Bring this moving a bit up, maybe a little bit too much. Just a little bit. And then a lot of this can be like cleaned up here. 
where some of the edges are as well. But overall, as you can see like here, it's a really nice job at smoothing it so you don't have to go individually one by one, mask it, brush it. So just like those areas you can do afterwards. But let's shift the edge a little bit more. And see how the other paint splashes look. Let's shift it a little bit more. Okay, that looks good. So as you can see, the edges are much smoother now. All right. So now that we're done with Select and Mask, we're going to go ahead and duplicate Layer 5. And then Layer 5 is just going to act as a backup copy. And then we're going to apply this Layer Mask apply and duplicate that as well so get rid of that and then we're going to select one paint splash to cover this eye right here so i'm going to pick one that's a bit fatter so it can cover my eye and i will pick this one with my lasso tool and then once that's selected press mask and then let's rotate it oops command t and then let's rotate it in a way that covers my eye. Let's drag that over here. And then let's rotate it a bit more. And then we'll probably make it larger as well. Zoom out. And then you can pick any paint splashes really, but this one seemed good to me. A little bit bigger. Cover the whole eye. And then I am going to warp it as well, but let me just apply that first. I'm gonna apply this layer mask too. And then let's go to edit, transform, and then warp. So I'm going to warp this edge right there so it is not as bulky on the bottom. Bring this up. Bring this up too. So you kind of can warp it to what you want it to be. So I'm going to warp it a little bit more like that. until it completely covers everything. Let's see. And then I'm going to make it slightly bigger. Maybe slightly bigger again. Now just see my eye underneath. Where is it? Okay, that looks good. And let's just bring that post. Let's just bring that opacity back up. And then, good. That looks really good. I saw earlier that I had a little bit of blue right there, so let me just erase that. Let's take a mask and then brush that out. I'm going to make this and a little bit skinnier, so I'm going to bring my hardness up and then just cut away what I don't want. It's a little bit too thick for me. And then I'm going to bring my flow up as well. All right, that looks cool. And let's see, I'm actually going to make 
this paint splash purple. So let's take our hue saturation, then create clipping mask. And then we're going to change the hue until it is something like purple. So let's go around there maybe. Then let's add saturation to purple. And then let's make that a bit darker. And then I'm going to mask out that red in the middle because it's a bit too distracting. Also purple and yellow just looks really good together so I like these two color combinations. All right. And it could be a blend of like the red and the yellow, maybe a little orange. Yeah, that looks cool. And so we just created a paint splash. And then I'm going to add another one. So I'm going to take layer 5 copy and just duplicate that again. And then I want a small one near my nose, I think. So I am going to grab this one right here, lasso that out, and then hit the mask tool. So it's going to mask out just that one. And then I'm going to hit apply and transform that. So command T. And I am going to drag that on over here. Yeah, and just like situate it where you think looks good. I think right here would be cool. So let's just do like that. And then drag that here. And then that looks good. And then you can also change the color of that one. I think I'm going to leave that one aqua. And so let's put another paint splash. Let's duplicate that layer. And this is like a repetitive process, but I'll show you how to apply some paint splashes and then we'll just speed up the rest. So we're going to lasso out another one and I'm just going to get rid of this feathering right here. So just do zero. We don't need any feathers, any feathers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I want to choose a longer one. Let's see. Let's choose maybe this one. And then mask that out. Same process. Apply layer mask. And command T for transform. So we're going to bring that right here. And then I want it to look like it's radiating from this eye. So I'm going to have all my paint splashes that I put here radiating out like this, kind of like a sun. So I'm going to have that angled like that. And I think that looks good. And then I think pink looks good, but we can try another color. Let's go to hue saturation. Let's clip that. And let's see what colors we can make. Let's see what looks good. Hmm. And we can increase the saturation as well. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe a little like that. Okay, I think that looks good. I think green is cool. And then I am just going to darken it so it curves and then bring it down a little bit. So you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to move it, I think, about here. And then have it like that. And then, let's see, maybe increase saturate just a bit. 
And I think that looks good for there. And we can always change the location of these paint splashes later, but let's add another one. So let's go layer five copy and then duplicate that layer again. And then let's choose a smaller one again. So let's choose this one. I like this one. Lasso that out, mask it, and then Command T to transform. And then let's apply that right around here. Let's rotate that. And then I'm going to do that like near there. That looks cool. Rotate a bit more. That looks cool. And then just apply layer mask. And then I'm going to change the color of this one. So hue saturation, create clipping mask, create clipping mask. And then I think pink for this one would be kind of cool. Let's see how that looks. And then we can increase saturation. Yeah, that's cool. And then we'll add one more after this one. And then you kind of get the gist of it. So we'll speed it up after I add this one. So duplicate that. Let's see, which one do we want to add? Let's choose, let's see, let's choose this one. Lasso that out, mask it and then apply layer mask, Command T, oops, Command T, and then rotate it, getting that ray effect. And then let's see, I think I want it there. That'd be cool. So in the next few seconds, I guess, we're going to be speeding up the process of the next paint splashes. So I'm just going to work through and add more paint splashes so you don't have to watch me do the same thing over and over again really slowly. So let's do it. So now we're done with the paint splashes. As you can see, I added a lot outside of the frame. So it looks like it's continuing outwards like that. And I also added a lot of small ones and a lot of big ones. So a lot of variation. And I also changed the color of a lot of them. So playing around with the hue and saturation. And also I added a lot of the other images that we had and I cut those out the same way I showed you before. And I added some here, 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 just everywhere. And so you don't have to do the exact same thing than me, of course, but it looks cool like this. I like it. All right, so now we're done with the paint splashes and we're going to add some shadow so it looks a little bit more realistic. So I am going to group all of them now. So let's go to the top. And let's find the bottom one. Here we go. Let's just group all of the paint splashes together. Name it paint splashes. And then we are going to double click on it and then go to drop shadow. So this is an easy way 
to add shadow to anything. So we are going to change the angle. As you can see in my eye, the light is over here. So we want the shadow to be on this side of the paint. So let's change the angle like that. About like 134 is good. And then let's move the opacity up. Let's see. I think that looks good. Maybe a little bit less. We don't want it to be too harsh. Yeah. And just play around with it and see what looks good. I think that 36% opacity looks good to me. And then you can also decrease the size if it's too big. So let's decrease that a little bit to six. And then my distance, that just determines like how far you want your shadow. But I'm gonna keep mine at two because we want it right next to it. And that looks good. So we just added shadow and that makes the paint splashes a little bit more realistic. So we just added the paint splashes in the shadows and I am going to add another curves layer to finish it off and make it a little bit brighter. So here we have our curves layer and I'll just slide the top point left and that brightens everything up. And then we're good. And that's it for the tutorial. Natalia, thank you so much for sharing not only yeah. your knowledge, but also your creative spirit with our community. I'm so happy to. This is, I say, my dream since I started because Aaron was my teacher since the beginning. Mom. So I'm sitting right next to him <laughs> and this is crazy. It's been amazing. Now you become my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Give us a big thumbs up and a big shout out to Natalia Seth, also known as Escaping Youth on Instagram. If you don't follow her <laughs> currently, be sure to do so because her work is amazing and you've got a lot more things, have great things coming from your, <laughs> just all of this in thank the future, you. I can tell. You're Thanks right. so much. Do you want to tell them? I will flirt you later. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. I'm so excited to bring you into the studio, and you're going to be sharing something with everyone who's watching. And you're going to be sharing. <laughs> and Natalia. <laughs> 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 okay. Natalia. <laughs> <Nat you th laughs> <Nat you. laughs> And that's it for our image today. And that's it for today's... Today! Okay. <laughs> I kept giggling in the middle, but you kept going, so... Yeah, I'm no, like, that's <laughs> good. That's good.